Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at the new RDA, or RSA, whatever you want to call it, from Van Andel Design out of Croatia. Obviously I have a working relationship with these guys, but as always I will give you my honest opinions and um, I'll point out any negatives, pros or cons that I have found whilst using this device for the past week or so. A little bit of housekeeping at the start. This is going to cost 135 euros. There were only 99 of these made and uh, I think there are only like 20 maybe that have now been put on the Vanendel shop or website where you can purchase it from. Uh, I'm pretty sure Steam Island in the UK are also getting them in today maybe when I record this video and uh, that's about it. So 135 euros. You can also buy different top caps as well that come in about 30 euros and we'll talk about that as we go along. So presentation is uh, it's actually very nice. Uh, just a plain box like this, Van and Dale. Open it up and you have one RDA. You will get one little baggie that will come with uh, just some spares in here. We've got some spare O-rings and post screws in here. And you will find a standard 510 pin also. It does come pre-installed with a squonking pin. Now you are going to find these little doodads. Uh, the airflow on this RDA, you get these bars, pins, whatever you want to call them, Lloyd discs and so on, uh, one millimeter, two millimeter and three millimeter inner diameter. So you've got a mouth to lung, a restricted direct lung and a direct lung option for this device. Uh, it is actually written on each of them, the air hole size. And just to let you see this here, RDL2, it comes with the, you see you've got O-rings on here. I think I'm, I, I, I just washed these and I think I've just washed one of my little O-rings down the sink. Thank God it comes with spares. Uh, but these are two little locating posts here. You can see that you've got a, a gap there at the bottom for when you squonk, juice will come underneath there. But these just pop in and out, no problem at all. Very well machined. Uh, they are on just on the, the, the edges here a little bit. It's a little bit on the sharpish side, uh, but uh, yeah, come out not too bad. Now the dripper itself, this is 316 stainless steel, all stainless steel going on here. And I have to say, it's 22 millimeters in diameter. I'm jumping ahead of myself, 22 millimeters in diameter. You're looking at 17.5 millimeters in height. You can see in the base here, we have uh, the old uh, Despot 22. 22 that's obviously the year it was made and we've got VD design and you can see here it says made in Poland uh, they actually subcontracted the manufacturing out to Hussar in Poland for this one so yeah it's it's done really really well this one uh, I will say the drip tip on this is superb um, one thing that really strikes me about this is even when I've Pop this on a mech squonker with a big 3mm ID coil and uh, giving it some beans. That's, there's, there's literally no heat transfer on this at all. Uh, no heat coming up through the drip tip. Nothing to worry about at all. It's actually very impressive. Uh, so that is on there like so. You will, uh, I would imagine, want to possibly change this drip tip out. It works well for RDL as well, but for mouth to lung, uh, yes, I've been using my own drip tips. And also with your drip tips, uh, if your drip tip is any bigger than say 13 millimeters in diameter, it will overhang the edge here. So that's just something to be aware of. So you've got these big air holes on the side here. I think they're about 3.5 mil in diameter. Uh, and yeah, obviously you take a draw. Air's going to come rushing in here through that bar and up to the air hole. The design on this is something I really like. Uh, I, I do like this. And yeah, right, let's have a look at what's going on inside. Uh, I don't find the 510 to be stupidly long in this or anything like that. I have no concerns. But deck just comes off like that. I'm glad to say that the O-ring on here is is works perfectly. Uh, I'm not going to make any jokes about Hussar and O-rings, but yeah, the, the, the O-ring is the perfect tolerance in my opinion. 
if we look at the cap here, well, you can see there's a little bit of damage going on in there. Nicely done. Uh, it really is nicely done. And uh, here we are for the deck. So you've got two post screws and it's easy enough to clamp fused complex coils in there and mouth the lung wires as well. Um, you just, obviously, if you're going to change this over, I'll just pop this out just now. Here we go. That just pulls out like so, and you can you know, change it over to your mouth to lung, restricted direct lung one, but obviously you're going to have to remove the coil if you want to change this bar over. There's our deck in here. Uh, you can, if you wanted to, you can unscrew this and you can take that out, your positive post out. You've got your peak insulator. It, it's really easy to strip this one down. I have no concerns with it at all. Pop the bar back in and this is what you have. Uh, obviously you can, you know, spin the top cap. Uh, it doesn't lock into place or anything. And uh, you can reduce the airflow on the outside. Personally, I don't think it makes two hoots of a difference because the throttle, the control on your airflow is going to be the size of this hole here. Uh, but yeah, just mentioned that. But uh, yeah, let's get a coil in here. You can see here that uh, yeah, the screws come out far enough to get your wires in there. There's walls on either side that will stop the wire getting spat out. It's done as you would expect. Uh, for this one, I'm just, <laughs> I've just grabbed some 24 gauge out of my drawer, thrown a few wraps on, and then uh, we'll pop that on. I've wrapped this counterclockwise, uh, and my leads are at the bottom, and it, it, it literally just drops in. There, there's nothing exciting here. I will say that it does have um, coiling guides there, you know, for a coiling rod, which... Um, they, they, they do kind of work, but you're, when you use it, you're actually resting right down on top of the bar, the bar here. Uh, so you're going to have to lift your coil up. Don't forget to lift your coil up, please. Fold my legs up there and just make sure I get them snipped off. Same with the other side. That is where my coil is, and hopefully you can see that I have lifted it up there as well. Make sure it's away from the bar. Pulse my coil, give it a little quench. Make sure that I don't burn my cotton when I pull it through. Use some of my favourite uh, Muji in a tin, or Cloud9 as it's commonly known. And the important bit, the wicking. Uh, so I've just cut my cotton a bit like that. Now the wells, uh, my preference is not to fill the wells up uh, entirely because obviously you have this bar here. If it just gets too high, uh, it's going to cross over the top of the bar Juice will go down and through the air hole and get into the tube here uh, or the pipe or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I tend to just pop my cotton in and then just push it to one side a little bit. Just a tiny little bit like that. It, it just gives the juice an opportunity to kind of like pull, you know, pull in there a little bit. Uh, I find it works for me. Uh, you could also tease this out, thin it right out and, and put it in and you know the juice will just work its way up through but my personal preference is is just to yeah just put the cotton just to the side a tiny little bit and I find personally that it stops it um, yeah it stops you over squonking as badly as you may that probably made no sense whatsoever but uh, I'll leave it in there because it works for me prime it up Grab a top cap, line up the ear holes here. Once again, I I don't see any benefit from adjusting the ear hole. I, I really don't. I just leave it open like that all the time. Put this beautiful drip tip on here, and, and there we go. Excuse the fact that if there's any scratches or juice on it, because I have been using this and I'm always covered in juice. Going to pop it onto uh, my SVB, SVB mods. Uh, this is a, a mech squonker, and I should. There we go, we're good to go. Now, uh, squonking. Um, this is the same, this applies to any squonker. Uh, obviously, when you get a new squonker or a new RDA, get the drip tip off, get the deck off, squonk and check and see how much juice or how much pressure it takes to get juice up to the top. That, that's what you want to do. You want to see how much pressure it takes to actually over squonk. And then you know that you don't do that again. Uh, but we'll, we'll talk about this uh, a bit more once we go back up top. So there we go. 
That is The Despot by Van and Dell. 22mm stainless steel 316 peak insulator. Squonk with it, drip with it, or uh, whatever you want. And yeah, let's go back up top and I'll let you know what I think. Right, here we go. Uh, and once again, I'll put that out of the air because there's always these people that have thoughts at the back of their head. I have a working relationship with Van and Dell. Um, have done for a couple of years now, but um, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll tell you about pros and cons either way uh, because I've been reviewing Van and Dell gear for 10 years and, um, and I've never liked anything they've done so far. <laughs> Joking. Uh, right. Machining on this obviously was done by Hassar. Uh, it was outsourced. Uh, Van and Dell came up with the design. They put it out to Hassar. Hassar manufactured it and then Van and Dell sell it. Um, I will also say that there is another RDA that uses a similar design, uh, which is the Palette by Broken Home Designs. Um, they're both made by Hassar, but the designs were sent to Hassar at different times, and it's just nothing but pure coincidence that they're both using, you know, the, the tube or the bar system. Uh, so just get that out of the way there. As far as this one goes, machining is really good. The o-ring tolerances are spot on, which is nice. Um, I don't find the cap that's, you know, that's a big heavy mod. Uh, no problems there at all. Uh, I can unscrew, the, the top cap doesn't slip and stop it coming off. All good in that front. Drip tip is, uh, it just suits the, the, the atty to a T. Uh, I like the design in the attic, the look of it. Obviously, the, the big gaping hole in the side is, is always something that not everybody's going to like. I don't mind it on this one. Um, I think it is one of the prettier attics that Van and Dell have done over the years. Uh, Machining-wise, it's done by Hassar. It's quality checked by them, but it's also quality checked by Van and Dell as well. And I think that's a good thing. This has done well. I'll say that and leave it at that. I think it's done really well. Vaping with it. Now you get a 3mm, a 2mm and a 1mm ID air hole or bars or whatever you want to call them. Each one does what it states. Mouth to lung, restricted direct lung and direct lung. One, two and three. It, what you expect from a 1mm draw or a 2mm draw or a 3mm draw is exactly what you get. And for me, the 2mm is superb. I really, really like it a lot. Uh, the 1mm, once again, uh, the mouth to lung vapours, 1mm draw, I think it will keep you happy. Uh, I still maintain there's no point in, you know, think I'll, I'll reduce the airflow by turning the top cap. It doesn't work. I don't think it works or makes any difference. But that's just my take on it. Uh, the flavour is superb uh it is really really good even with the one mil i thought the chamber um might not be condensed enough you know small enough for a, a one mil draw and to give me the flavor that i would like from it but it is actually very good across the board i don't have really any cons with this at all more a warning a more of a warning than anything else. And it almost does not apply to the one in the two mil because I never found that issue with a heavier VG. Because if you over squonk, the juice will come up to the side of the bar and it will go across the air hole. Now with the two mil and the one mil, it doesn't go down into the, the, the tube, if you like, because the you know the consistency of the liquid is too thick to go down in there, so it, it never gets into the tube. It's not a problem. If you're using the three mil and you over squonk, then juice will get down that three mil three mil ID hole and go into this tube here. And you would think that if you go give it a suck, it's going to suck all the juice out of that, and and that's you. You're fine. What I found, and, and, I, and I've said this about other similar styled atties, that that's all you have to do is suck it and pull it out and job done. I do find, however, that even if I suck and pull it out, 
it can leave a little residual layer of moisture inside there and you'll hear it. If you've over squonked, you can suck it, it'll pull that out, but more often than not, you'll have to get like a little bit of cotton or something and just pass it through just to get that extra moisture out because you'll hear it bouncing about in your ears and it'll do your head in. But that only applies if you've over squonked and it's just something to be aware of. Uh, that That is it. It's, it's, I'm not going to make it out to be a, a massive con or a big negative. It's just if you over squonk and if you over squonk with any atty, oh, you're going to have difficulties. Um, the 3mm ID... The flare... Uh, uh, I think it's... For me, I think it's the best atty that Van and Dell have done. Uh, it's certainly with machining and and flavour as well. I think the flavour is the standout thing for this. I really like the way it looks in the drip tip. Um, but once again, I'm going to give it... And I, and, I, and I always pull them to bits for something. I hate saying nice, th nice things about them because they never say nice things about me. Croatians. <laughs> um, this is a very good RDA. It's very good. Only major con that I can give it, or con that I can give it, is if you over squonk with the 3 mil pin. That's it. Um, the other thing is that they only made 99 of them. Um, and unless there's a huge demand, um, then you won't see any more of them getting made. Um, which is kind of a shame. Also, top caps, there's no optional top caps available right now. Unless they get like a, a list of like 30 people interested, then they can go back and get them manufactured. Um, and that's kind of where it stands right now. So if you want to grab one, either go to Van and Dell, uh, their own site, or nip along to Steam Island. I think he's got 10 of them. And uh, that's where you'll get it. But um, to Sasha and Vanya, or Van and Dell, it's very nice, guys. It's actually really... Why didn't we do this under MT Essentials? Why? Tell me. This is shocking. <laughs> Joking. Thank you to the guys for sending this on. I got this free to review. I didn't even get any Croatian chocolate with it. Nothing. Uh, uh, thank you to you so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.